What is up, Lakwachero? Si Lakwachera, si Crystal I, your Mikulanong Lakwachero, ang Mikulanong hindi mahilig sa maanghang, pero mahilig maglakwatsa. Welcome to yet another episode of our Talakwatsahan. This is now our 8th episode, and surprisingly, my past two videos have attracted audiences from different parts of the globe. So, for the benefit of everybody's understanding, I will try my hardest to speak in straight English for this video, okay? So, it took me quite some time to decide on the topic of this episode until I backtracked some of the previous comments and messages that I got from my past uploads and learned that there were a few people who were interested and were asking how I create my thumbnails. So this is another exciting video for me because as you all know, I like sharing my creative process with you guys and uh, based on my observation from talking to other small YouTubers like myself, it seems like not very many people have been introduced to Canva yet. Which I think is such a missed opportunity because Canva is such a powerful tool. I mean, it helps you a lot and simplifies things in creating designs for your Facebook page and even your YouTube channel. So that is exactly what we're going to talk about for this video. I will be teaching you how to create effective thumbnails by using Canva. So before I officially start the discussion about this topic, allow me first to give a shout out to Viahe Nidrin, my most recent YouTube friend who is also a travel vlogger and he has just recently launched his YouTube channel. So do support his videos guys, he also does a lot of travel vlogs and mountain climbing videos. So if you're interested in content like that, go ahead and check out his channel, I'll be linking that in the title card above. So as usual, if you also want to get a shout out like what I did to Adrian, just simply watch the entire video, leave your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what you liked or disliked about this video and let me know that you want a shout out for my next upload. It's as simple as that. Alright, so let's go on to the meat of the matter. For those of you who have been following my channel, you already know that I actually have two types of thumbnails, one for my travel vlogs and another one for my talakwatsahan videos just like this one. So. Um, one of the most common questions that I actually get is where I edit these thumbnails. And to answer that question, I use two editors for my thumbnails. For my Talak Machahan vlogs, I use Canva because it's very easy and user-friendly and it has a lot of customizable templates. And for my travel vlogs, um, I use Photoshop simply because um, my travel vlog thumbnails require a lot of editing uh, and other functions that Photoshop has but Canva doesn't have. So. Again, for this video, we'll be focusing on using Canva because it's a lot easier to follow and less complicated. Later on, I'll be showing you exactly how I do that. But before we get there, allow me to discuss some tips first. So when editing my thumbnails, I always make sure that I have these three elements present. Number one is my logo for branding. Number two is an attention-grabbing text to provide context about the content of my video. And number three is an expressive face to stir up some interest and to emphasize that the video is created by yours truly. Um, another element that I sometimes add are icons or emojis uh, that provide more context to the content of the video. So let's get into more detail about each element by discussing them one by one, starting with the logo. When you have a YouTube channel, you're basically selling yourself as a brand. So it's important that you have a logo or something that identifies your channel. It doesn't really have to be anything fancy. Um, it can be something simple. Uh, but make sure that it reflects your personality and your channel's niche. If you don't have one yet, I suggest that you start creating your own logo so that you may start using that on your thumbnail. Um, doing so would allow your viewers and future subscribers to easily identify you among other YouTubers that might show up on their homepage. So as for me, I always use the horizontal version of my logo because it just fits the design better and it's easily readable. The next element that we have is an attention-grabbing text. So one of the reasons of having a thumbnail is for your viewers to immediately identify the content of your video without actually having to read the title of the video. So make sure that you add text into your thumbnails. It can be something that's very direct, just like what I did to the thumbnail of this video. Or it can also be something a little bit more intriguing but still provides context about the content of your video. Uh, just like what I did to my very first uh, Talak Machan episode, uh, about some for some. Just remember that when adding text, make sure that it's big enough for people to read even if the thumbnail is already at 10% of its size. So use thick fonts and try to keep it at a maximum of 4 lines without exceeding 2 words per line. Also, upon checking my analytics, I learned that uh, thumbnails with text placed on the left side perform better in terms of click-through rates 
as compared to those thumbnails with text placed on the right side. And if you come to think about it, people normally read from left to right, so their eyes would immediately go to the left part of your thumbnail. So if you place your text in the left side of your thumbnail, there's a higher chance that people would immediately read what you put there. Last of the must-have elements in your thumbnail is, of course, your face. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that a lot of the famous YouTubers that you follow also do this. It's a simple technique of uh, putting a photo of yourself that carries a big expression. It can be any type of expression as long as it stirs up interest among your viewers. But majority of the expressions or the emotions that I normally convey or explore are uh, confusion, excitement, happiness, um, disapproval, and sometimes even curiosity. I used to just get screenshots from my recorded videos but I found that to be quite difficult because I couldn't get the right framing because I tend to move a lot when I record my videos so every time I try to screenshot it would either have like you know blurry hands or you know a funky facial expression that I have or you know something that's just not flattering and doesn't look good on a thumbnail. So another tip that I'll give you is to just take photos of yourself with different expressions so that you have options to choose for your thumbnails. Just make sure that it's framed correctly so that you have enough space on your right because that's where you're going to place your text. Also, make sure that you are well lit because that does a lot to the quality of the photo and the thumbnail that you're going to be producing. So, so using a ring light really helps a lot. If you don't have one yet, I suggest investing in one. I got mine from G Shopwise. It's an online store where you can buy great Divisoria finds. So go ahead and check out her page on Facebook. I'll be providing the link in the description box as well so that you can go ahead and browse through whatever you want to buy from her. Bonus element are emojis or icons. This is something that I normally do not do but Sometimes I actually add um, these elements into my thumbnail just to make it more dynamic and more interesting. Just make sure that you don't overdo it because you don't want your thumbnail looking like you know, a photo with a bunch of emojis or you know, you don't want it to appear too cluttered because it's just gonna distract your viewers from reading the, the text that you provide there. Unless of course if you're doing that intentionally and it serves a purpose that's related to the content of your video. Alright, so that is it for my general tips in creating a thumbnail. Let us now go into creating a sample thumbnail from Canva. Okay, so open your browser and just type in canva.com and it will lead you to the homepage of the website. So from there, you can already see that there are a lot of recommended templates and customizable templates that you can use for your design. Uh, not just for your YouTube, but other um, graphic design requirements that you need. So to create your own design, just click on create design type in YouTube thumbnail and it will actually provide you with suggestions just hit uh, YouTube thumbnail and it will lead you to the editing page so in here you, uh, as you can see on the left side of the page uh, there are already a lot of um, templates that you can use it's actually categorized depending on the niche of your channel but you don't really have to follow that strictly uh, you can actually use any thumbnail or any template that they have uh, and just add some tweaks to it just like what I did with mine. So I used this template for my Talakwatsahan um, thumbnails. Um, I just did a little editing to it. So let me just remove some of the elements here like this one and this one. And uh, let me move the photo to the right side so that I can have my text later on the left side. I'll also resize the photo so that it's uh, a good size uh, and, and a viewable one. And then let me ungroup this. Delete the black background so I can have just the text and put it to the left side. Just like what I mentioned in one of our tips. So uh, to change the photo, you just simply have to click upload, which is found on the left side of the page. And then click desktop and then search for the photo that you want to um, upload and then hit ok since mine is already pre-uploaded i'll just use this one and that's already on my upload list and then drag and drop that to the place where the photo is and it automatically replaces that so if you can see the original photo was black and white so it also adopted that uh, filter to the uploaded photo so to change that uh, simply hit filter and then click none and it should show the original color of the photo that you uploaded you can also move the photo around by double clicking it and just using your cursor to move it around so that you can position it properly and then for the background i'm going to change the color from red into a light gray since that just looks better for me and then i'll go ahead and change the font color for this into an orange one just so it's more 
readable and then change the font style to League Gothic since it's what I usually use for my thumbnails. It's simple and it's elegant and it's very readable. For the text of this thumbnail, I'll just use a very direct and simple one. Uh, it says creating thumbnails that rank. So if you can see, it still follows the maximum of four lines and maximum of two words per line. So just to make it more dynamic, I'll go ahead and make this italicized. If the letters are too close to each other, you can um, edit that uh, by clicking this icon and then uh, just moving the slider until you get a good uh, spacing between the letters. Okay, so you now have a text. So to add more depth to this, uh, I'm going to create a fake shadow uh, by duplicating the text and changing the color to black. So I'll place the orange text back on top of it, uh, but slightly to the left so that it creates uh, an illusion that it has like a black shadow or something like that. Let me go ahead and add the episode name. So uh, let me put Talakot Sahan episode 8 here. And then to give more context to the video, I'll just add using Canva. So the, the entire thing reads creating thumbnails that rank using Canva. I'll change the font to Lee Gothic just to make it uniform with the font above it and change the spacing of the letters to make it more proportional and place it at the bottom of the orange text. Let me resize that a bit. All right. So there you go. Now, let me go ahead and add my logo. It's been pre-uploaded. I've been using it for quite some time, so it's going to be buried here under a lot of other photos. So let me just go ahead and search for it. All right, I'm pretty sure this is this one. Let me just wait for it to load so that I can make sure that it's really the right photo. All right, there we go. So I'm going to use the orange one. Uh, I'll just resize that into a smaller size so that I can put that towards the bottom left corner of the thumbnail. There you go. Lastly, let me add some elements into this thumbnail. So just click elements and then type um, Canva logo. So I'm choosing this one. Just resize it. There you go. Move it a little bit to the right. And then maybe let's add like a YouTube logo since we're talking about YouTube thumbnails. All right, there are a lot of free ones here. So there you go. Let me just resize this. Place that there. Tilt it a little bit. There you go. And then maybe let's add like an icon that depicts um, a thumbnail. So let me just type in thumbnail here. There you go. So if you can see, it gives you a lot of options. There are free ones and there are paid ones. So let me just go ahead and browse some of the good ones here. All right, let's use this one temporarily even if it's a paid one. So you can also change its colors. Just click on the color block up there. I'm changing it to the color white just so it goes well with the entire photo. Place that below the YouTube logo. Tilt that a little bit. Resize it a bit and move it a little bit downwards just so it looks nicer. And there you go. You have your entire thumbnail from Canva. When you're done, you can just click download and it should be good to go. So that is it for this episode of Our Talak Wachahan. I hope that you were able to get some information on how you can improve your thumbnails for your future uploads. I hope that you found this video helpful and if you did, do consider leaving a thumbs up, hitting that subscribe button, and clicking that notification bell only if you want so that you'll be updated every time I release new content. Make sure to leave your comments in the comment section below and who knows you might be the next shout out for my next upload. You may also follow me on my other social media accounts. I do have Facebook and Instagram for more travel related content like this. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching until the end. I will see you next Thursday for our next upload. Bye!